The motion picture True Lies was a blockbuster hit when it was released 27 years ago. With Arnold Schwarzenegger in the lead role, supported by the likes of Jamie Lee Curtis, there was little doubt the action-adventure comedy film would strike a chord with the viewing public. Gen Xers and Millennials most likely remember the movie best, but it is safe to say that most people remember the film to some extent or another. In this video, we are going to take a look at the cast from this nearly three decades old Hollywood gem and see how they were doing then and how they are doing now. Before we dig into this piece, please take a few seconds and smash that subscribe button. Give us a like and tickle that bell icon. It will only take a few seconds of your time in exchange for a lifetime of our gratitude. True Lies was a big budget action adventure comedy film released in 1994 that was written and directed by the legendary James Cameron. It was the first film released by James Cameron's Lightstorm Entertainment and it was distributed by 20th Century Fox. It was the third highest grossing movie of 1994, raking in close to $380 million worldwide. The film revolves around the life of Harry Tasker, portrayed by Arnold. Tasker is a well-trained spy, but to his wife Helen and his daughter and to everyone else, he is a boring, predictable computer salesman. For his entire marriage, Harry has managed to keep his secret life from his family, but the emergence of a new terrorist and his wife struggling with their boring marriage forces Tasker to unveil the truth to his family so that he can save the world from this new threat. In the end, the protagonist must save his wife and daughter from the evil terrorist, and he does so in spectacular explosive fashion. The film is, if nothing more, a lot of fun and a good escape from our currently locked down world. Anyone watching that has not seen it really should give it a go. While most remember the film and the characters, not as many know what some of the actors and actresses are up to now, and that is what we are going to show you today in this video. So, grab a bowl of popcorn and a cola as we run down the cast of True Lies, then and now. Let's start with a not so obvious choice and take a look at funny man Tom Arnold as Albert Mike Gibson. Tom Arnold played Albert Mike Gibson, Harry's partner. Arnold was previously known as a comedian and had gotten his start writing on Roseanne, where he also appeared on some episodes and began a notorious relationship with the show's rotund star, Roseanne Barr. When he was cast in True Lies, Arnold was just making more of a name for himself and had a short-lived television series of his own that year called Tom, but it would be canceled after one season. Arnold went on to appear in films like Nine Months, the Stupids, and McHale's Navy, and gave it another go with television in 1997 with the series The Tom Show, which was cancelled after one season like his previous show was. As the years progressed, Arnold started experimenting with more serious roles in indie films like Happy Endings and Good Dick. He's appeared in the recent films Medea's Witness Protection, Jutopia, and Hit and Run, and in 2012, he participated in the Comedy Central roast of his ex-wife Roseanne Barr. Next up, we will take a look at the legend Bill Paxton. May he rest in peace. Bill Paxton as Simon, the used car dealer. Bill Paxton played Simon, a scumbag used car salesman posing as a spy to have sex with random women, including Harry Tasker's wife, Helen. When Harry finds out, he uses his spy connections to scare Simon off. This wasn't Paxton's first film with Schwarzenegger. The actor had a minor role as a punk in The Terminator way back in 1984, and he played an intercept officer in Commando in 1985. He also had a supporting role in the neo-western horror film Near Dark, released in 1988. Paxton went on to land starring roles in major films like Apollo 13, Twister, Titanic, and A Simple Plan. In 2006, he landed the role of Patriarch Bill Henriksen on the HBO series Big Love, which ran until 2011. More recently, you've probably seen him in the films Haywire or Two Guns, and he can be seen next in Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise and Million Dollar Arm with John Hamm. He also has a four-episode arc this year on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Sadly, Paxton passed away on February 25th, 2017, at the age of 61, from a stroke. 
The next entry on our list is the beautiful Tia Carrera from Wayne's World. Tia Carrera as Juno Skinner. Tia Carrera played Juno Skinner, a beautiful antique dealer whom Harry suspects of having ties with a terrorist cell. Carrera was known best for playing Cassandra Wong in the Wayne's World films. Carrera rounded out the 90s with parts in Jury Duty, High School High, Cole the Conqueror, and a starring role on the Canadian television series Relic Hunter, which ran from 1999 to 2002. She was the voice of Nani in the Lilo and Stitch movies and television series, and has appeared on The O.C., Nip Tuck, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. In 2012, she competed on The Celebrity Apprentice, and she appears in the recent Lifetime movie Taken for Ransom. Since 2012, Carrera has appeared on numerous TV shows and TV movies. Now, let's take a gander at the antagonist of the film and the actor that played him, Art Malik. Art Malik as Salem Abu Aziz. Art Malik portrayed Salem Abu Aziz, the leader of a Palestinian terrorist organization that Harry is trying to capture throughout the film. Malik was previously known for his role on the TV series Hot House. Malik went on to land roles in several BBC series like Unfinished Business, Life Support, and Holby City. He's appeared in the films The Wolfman, Sex and the City 2, and John Carter, and currently stars on the long-running and very popular European series Borgia, which is available on Netflix Instant. Next up is Eliza Dushku, who played Dana Tasker, the daughter of Harry. Eliza Dushku as Dana Tasker. This was one of Eliza Dushku's first major roles. Dushku had also appeared in the films That Night and This Boy's Life, a 1993 drama. Dushku famously played the tough girl Missy in the 2000 smash hit Bring It On. Before Bring It On, she was also known for her role as Faith on the WB's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. According to MTV, producers knew they wanted Dushku to play Missy after watching her on Buffy. They loved how different she was from Dunst. After Bring It On, Dushku landed many TV roles on shows like Fox's Dollhouse, Showtime's Leap Year, and Disney XD's Hulk and the Agents of Smash. In recent years, she appeared in the film Eloise and the TV movie The Saint. Now we will take a look at some of the talents that made this film a blockbuster, starting with Jamie Lee Curtis, who was Helen Tasker, the bored wife of Harry. Jamie Lee Curtis as Helen Tasker. Jamie Lee Curtis, famous for playing Laurie Strode in the Halloween films, as well as roles in Trading Places and A Fish Called Wanda, Jamie Lee Curtis did a wonderful job portraying Helen Tasker, Harry's simple wife who flirts with another man and gets Harry thinking that maybe he needs to pay more attention to his home life. Curtis reprised the role of Laurie Strode in Halloween H20, 20 years later in 1998, and Halloween Resurrection in 2002, when the original series ended its run. She's also appeared in the film's Christmas with the Cranks, You Again, and the recent From Up on Poppy Hill. She's recently guest starred on New Girl as Zoe Deschanel's mother, and can be seen next in the Veronica Mars movie released in 2014. Since 2014, Curtis has had roles on television, appearing on Only Human and Archer. She starred in 2018's Halloween, reprising her role as Laurie Strode, followed by the dark comedy Knives Out in 2019. Currently, Curtis is working on Halloween Kills set for release this year, followed up by Halloween Ends, set for release next year. And last but not least, Conan the Barbarian himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Harry Tasker. Arnold Schwarzenegger, action icon and star of classics like Predator and Total Recall, reunited with James Cameron, director of the Terminator films for True Lies, in which Arnold played Harry Tasker, a man leading a double life as a computer salesman and a government agent. Schwarzenegger reprised his role as the Terminator in Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines in 2003, and then took some time off from acting to be the governor of California. In 2011, when his time in office was up, Schwarzenegger returned to acting with full force. He's since appeared in the films The Expendables 2, The Last Stand, Escape Plan, The Expendables 3, and Sabotage. 
Arnold flexed his dramatic chops in the 2015 post-apocalyptic horror drama film Maggie, following that up with Terminator Genesis, which was not well received. In 2019, Arnold starred in the Chinese film Vi 2 Journey to China, a film that was panned by critics and fans the world over. In 2019, Terminator Dark Fate was released, with Arnold reprising his role as the T-800. But the film received mostly negative reviews and did not fare well at the box office. Currently, Arnold is working on Kung Fury 2, slated for release in 2022. Which of these actors are you mostly fond of? And what are their best films in your opinion? Give us your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and then ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.